what is really happening in the country. Don't sit back and just because other countries are saying that uh, swing the, uh, you know, price are uh, rocket high or whatever, and you just use that as an excuse for your country. Gambia doesn't have to fit in that category because Gambia is only 2 million inhabitants. We have our farms. We have, we have, um, how do you journalist who make a command of the camera, a call. Baga sola da sero manke Gambia da mati ngaje politiciano meka kumande mwari sok atefana javiro ko kusifa la kaje komo kana o kusifa fo se solo sono nyine asem follow Instagram give thanks tv1 Facebook give thanks tv o bele kana mbari un alumbara Give thanks TV la murunda na nkoreke mbafo la momo ni video yetra watu wati Give thanks TV ko abe konto na watu la mbali nkonto nilo bori nko laje mbafo la leko ali subscribe ali ya like ali comment nalo subscribe tufuka pare ali ya make so kakata beli ndi ume nkata la jembali un ali ya ma kapres ibaja la video jolonda watu wati mbali ni manke mo follow ti ita kila mo la wanti membe video jube la Kumi ngato ndala nyame, jona li suwa mika kumande fatu kamara atale kumata kuwa la mime dending marasandiso la da selo wala marasandiso la da sero manam ata fatu kamara safiro kakaje ko moldo la antili mbali ya ani ya kilo kenya fatu kamara tendenda katandi ko manam mope ya lone marasandiso la da sero omu dunia beleti bae mfatu kamara aje kabini covid-19 data minkira 2020 Ako bari puruka solo solo nyini wala ka ferol nyini kuol dola mohamol manke bari ke blo chodi mansa kundala ani fanna jama fatu kamara yo male ako na politician ol dol bije ani fanna jama ala jikila te otandi wala fanna to kaje ko manam wol jama katar silandin ne puruka to nyafo bayen e katar silandin ibe attack la le min kera opposition balti milbe social media ani fanna jama Manam fatu kamara tendenda katandiko muna tina mwonya ndaka sila mwola ten fatu kamara njini nkaro kwa ufanala katandiko mwote sila la kute mwosot la ni alaman kiti mina Mbari un ata fatu kamara tendenda katandiko tumo ata kasandilo ke US kodo kemela ni wa haimala andu wakala kuul beke nole Ako bari sain akatala fo keme saba wala keme nani Ako nina ta jube hani to la murta florida bare ay sandiro ke min tara fo keme nani ako ani sain ala la fam min bela ama sotono ata fatu kamara tende na ka tande ko ni mol la fta pro na banko nga samal la fta la damen manam fo mol se ke tonya fo lalti wala fo mol se an tiling ani fanna jam beden ni wala ako ka politik nori mo bondi karala wala ka o jenken di karala Manam, ako banko buka uh, develop wala kata nyato uh, menkera mansa kunda da mati ako menkera banko diun wolfona e um, fanna bale soto pour ka ple ani fanna jama mbe dendi wala ako ikube sa be na min fola min be dendi uh, afrid gambianol wolte o son soto nola ako juma la ko mo afrid uh, americanol soto ani fanna jama mbari on ko min atanda la nyame video de zulu afana menkera mari sok menkera independenti bari Kartre forming tambida nu ada join the UDP manam mari sok fana atandi kaje ko mol milka uh, Gambia ni banku dol compare mari sok yala ni kwa na bala fata ndi fana la bake 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 mari sok ya atandi kaje ko uh, Gambia diun unyanta minke la wolem ka solution ol nyini ani ka tonya fo banku diun ye ani fana jama meden ni wala mari sok ya atandi kaje ko Minketa um, agriculture fanati marisoke advise jamala di mansa kundala pour se cool keno nyame wala se solutional keno nyine nyo nyame pour kaje kudol dai tala ani fanna jama wa kamala me marisoke la video djube la tria kono ba jani bo djube la al sala on opinion pour minketa la miro tala min djew koro ngaje kabirim fatu kamara ko kuma kanfo mo jama jama leela jikila te otandi fatu kamara la dol fana ya tandi kaje ko ay min fo wala sabatita Bar jamaa yata ndi kaje ko Gambia mo manyani America kompiala wala US kompiala ani dunia fanna ko ton bay benga Gambia lo nyame na ekonomi be duma bakele dol yo fanna ma di amode siala mo chocolat ki baro fe tria ko no asala mo ni hakilo la bake ngana le sain of course we all complaining about price inflation we all complaining about um, everything is high and all that 
Yes, it is. All over the world, everything is high. Everything is skyrocket. But our little Gambia, let us not use what is happening in other countries and apply it to ourselves. We are only about 2 million inhabitants. We have our farms. Our farms are there. I wish we had ignited agriculture. Then we will not complain about bags of rice being $2,500 for Saddam or $2,650. I wish we would grow our own vegetables and we are growing our own vegetables, but we are not buying from our people. Everything in Gambia is basically imported. There's a lot of commodities that we can do for ourselves. Then we, don't, we are not going to feel that price change or price rocketing. Because if we have our own homegrown rice, we have our own vegetables, we have our seas, how difficult is that for 2 million inhabitants? But of course, our fish, our seas are sold. You have to buy the fish per kilo and you have to buy it from our Chinese brothers who are here. Everything is mortgaged. We are still encouraging the importation of rice because there's a monopoly on it and people are making money off of it. So they're not encouraging the growth of our own rice. You cannot even afford to buy fish anymore. Just look around you. These are things that we don't need to import. These are things that the price shouldn't be high because they're right here in our backyard. So yes, we have to sometimes blame the government because they should have initiative to ignite these things so that people can follow suit. And how do you ignite these things? First, by canceling or limiting the importation of rice, igniting agriculture, getting everybody going back to the land, trade, and uh, the Minister of Agriculture can now regulate, work together to regulate the prices of just, you know, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers. These are things that really, honestly, Price should not skyrocket on those things. But today, if you buy one jahatu, which is a bitter tomato, if you buy one jahatu for five dalasis, tomorrow is ten dalasis. When it's just in your backyard. So we cannot just sit back and say, oh, this is, we're using this as politics, and oh, we're using this as propaganda. Yes, some politicians are using it as propaganda and all that, but that's also the reality. The reason why they can use it is because it's the reality on ground. Other countries that have price increment, for example, the United States. Minimum wage in the United States is not any more $10. You go to McDonald's now for a job. I know some young girls that are working there that are making $15, $16 an hour, depending what state you are. Minimum wage in some states are $18 an hour. They went up in wages. But in the Gambia, in the Gambia, where's the wage increment to match the buying capacity? There was no wage increment. But prices are high. People earn about what? $35 a month. $50 a month, where in the U.S. you are earning $18 an hour as minimum wage, $16 an hour on minimum wage. Come on, you cannot compare the Gambia and the West. Because they have a system, they have laws, and they have the people fight for their rights, and they're heard. What we need to do is to start talking to our leaders. Maybe help them. Maybe through our little talking here, encourage the Minister of Trade to come out there, get off his air-conditioned car and go around and see. Minister of Agriculture, get off his high horse, get off his, uh, or, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the big car they're driving and go out there and really see what is going on in town. 
Because some of these things that are increased in price have, were, done, were increased prior to the Ukraine war, the Russia-Ukraine war. Even in the U.S., price was up prior to the Russia-Ukraine war because I was there. Price went up during COVID because of shipping and the shipping logistics or flights or whatever, things that are imported were all expensive. That's understandable. But in the Gambia, there's a lot of things that we can use that we don't need to import because it's right here in our backyard. From rice to vegetables to seafood, we have it. Tomatoes, whatever you need for a daily meal is right here in our backyard. So don't tell me that, oh, because other countries increase, oh, it's everywhere, Gambia should get on it. No, don't buy that. Don't buy that. And yes, we will put everything on the government because we want the ministers that are sitting there to be more active, to be aware of their surroundings and what is happening, to come out and see and, you know, let them sit out the round table and talk and discuss on how to move the Gambia forward. It's the little things that matter. Your people need to survive on a daily basis. Infrastructure and all these things can come later. They can all be part of that. But if your people don't have anything to eat or their daily needs are met, then it's a problem. And we have sectors for that. These sectors have to start working. We cannot be politicking from 2019. Now it's 2022. We need to start working. Ministers are supposed to be in their office strategizing, working with their teams to see how best to do this and do that. I started in 2019 politicking. And I've been talking about this through my campaign and through my politics. There has not been any productive work since that time in these offices. And yes, we will come here and hold people accountable. If I was in office, I want people to hold me accountable because I want to perform. And it doesn't, it's not like you're telling me or you're downgrading me or you're, you know, you want me to be better. The reason why people talk or hold government accountable is so they get better. We need to sometimes accept criticism because it is good for us. It's, only, it's the only way we get better. If every day somebody tells you, wow, you will think you have done your best. Meanwhile, you're not doing anything. But because those people are under your pay, uh, how do you call it, or, or in your pocket, they will tell you what you want to hear. We are very sensitive as people, as Gambians in general. Gambians are very sensitive. Everything you say, they see it as a negative or an insult. No. I look at everything and say, you know what? If this is what they're talking about me or saying about me, I should be better. I should do things different. Or I'm going to be just like this. Let them accept me or not. And that's just what it is. Once we start accepting that and accepting uh, uh, criticism, trust me, we will do better. So if I was in office and I'm not doing good and people are coming out and talking, that should encourage me to do better. That should encourage me to say, you know what, people are complaining because they're not happy with me. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Let me go back to the drawing board. For Christ's sake, the ministry, you all have a big team from the palm sec to the deputy. It's a big team in every ministry to sit and strategize and see what is. Send your guys out there, over there, to look at what is missing, what can be done. How can it be done? 
instead of excuses, excuses. The excuses are so much that even the regular gardener or the regular watchman at your house is also giving excuses. Huh? The whole Gambia is full of excuses. And it's so easy because it's easy to give excuses and just say, be like, you know, I wanted to do this, but then this is what happened. And until we have a stern hand, I'm not saying a dictator. When you say stern, it's when you begin to hold your ministers accountable. Then your ministers will hold people under them accountable. When this happens in the Gambia, Gambia will move again. But if we all say, ah, Pate, why didn't you do this? Your ministry is not working. Pate said, yes, sir, because I didn't have a budget. Then you said, oh, okay, um, Pate, please, you need to work on it. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing. No, that's not going to help. That's not going to work. Give them deadlines. Give them timelines. The former president used to do that. And people thought he was... He was, um, you know, he was being wicked. No, he would give them a deadline or he would give them a timeline or what to expect, a budget to expect, especially from the ports. We need so and so this year. What that does, it makes people start working to get there. We don't here to talk about Jamey. But what I'm saying that there are certain things that he did as a leader that is what a leader is supposed to do. And those are the good qualities of being a leader, which is to hold people accountable, not by killing them. I didn't say that. Don't, don't twist my words. But by holding them accountable and keeping them on their toes so that they can work. That way they too can keep other people on their tippy toes and people are working and moving. Gambia is not moving. Gambia is not working right now. Gambia is not working right now. From the elections to now the National Assembly election, nobody's really doing anything. But then we all expect our new MPs to perform. How are they going to perform when nothing is really happening? It all goes in hand in hand. My fellow Gambians, let us stop blaming and blaming. Let us see what we can all do collectively. If some of you are good in talking, inspiring, or putting pressure, then put pressure but in a positive way. If we have to go out there and help, let us do that. Government officials, don't be very sensitive because that is why you were voted in or that is why you were elected. A head of state elects you because they, I'm Yakar CEO. The head of state, the flag, Tana, because if I'm Yakar CEO, if I'm Lungi CEO. Whether you are capable or not, even if you're not capable and you're in that office, try. Because yalla mayna la bit, tana nengla out of how many people? President bi tana la. Ne harama jilki def kosi plas bi. Try. Show people, ah, deguma angale bu bahde, but I'm a walker. Munuma binda de, why liga y kat la? Liga y kat. Need law pir binda? I'm na yene nyula muna binda? President Bide Tana Neki Amur capacity, see what the Amur capacity is being done. Why Ligue? That's not Ligue Lobin Sona. That's what we need. We need people to start working. Now, I want to encourage some of the National Assembly members that are going. Badion, Bele Omonyola, Ala Baraka Bakala Lamo Kunyimala, Cairo Kano Fofo, Gambia Bangokan, I'll subscribe, Alia like, Ala comment, I'll sell own opinion, Falimindia Marisokla Kumakando, I Javi Sangarlene Kamola, Milka Gambianim, Bankudul Kompia, Cairo Kano Fofo.